Hey guys, Nick Drossos and welcome to Code Red Defense. Great question that we got is, Nick, how do I prepare for a sucker punch? Now, uh, I've made a lot of videos on sucker punch and you know, people just blow my mind when they're like, well, you don't see the sucker punch, it's from behind, it's from the side, the guy's not face to face. To me, a sucker punch, and this is my definition, yes, it could be from behind, it could be from the side, but a sucker punch as well is I'm talking to him and I'm not, I'm not verbally telling him, let's fight. I'm not making an intention to fight. I'm not bringing up my head. So what is the sucker punch? I'm talking to him and I'm doing this and then I turn around and that is a sucker punch. That means I'm not making my intention verbally or through action prior to my strike. So stop writing me these crazy comments about what's a sucker punch and what's not a sucker punch. It's as simple as that. Now, how do you prepare for a sucker punch? I made a lot of videos, and I could make probably a 30 minute video on just how to prepare for it, but we have that in our CodeRedDefense.com videos where I actually break it down. But the first thing I tell people, the best way to prepare a sucker punch is one, create your space and distance where I'm here. Two, is keeping up your hands. This is just a simple trick. So if I'm, if I'm, in, I'm in his range right now, so if I take a step back, could he sucker punch me? He could, but he'd have to step in a lot more to throw that punch, which would make him telegraphic. So just by moving, he has to, if, if I did this, uh, so if I'm here with you, Patrick, and I'm talking to you, let's say you're preparing a sucker punch, and I did this, right? Already, he'd be missing, right? Because I took a step back. So already, by me moving, he has to shift his way to get into a sucker punch range. The second thing is keeping your hands up. So if I'm here, and he went to throw a sucker punch, I would be like, boom, here, right? If I'm here, if I was here, and I would do just this, or if my hands are over here and he threw a sucker punch, I would bring it up here. So these are just two quick tips, and the base of preparing and being able to intercept the sucker punch, however, as well as looking at body language, is he shifting his weight? Is he pacing? Is he moving? Is he trying to get an angle? Is he doing this type of stuff? A lot of times, and just go on YouTube and check it out. They're standing face to face. The guy's pacing, he's doing this shit, he's talking to him. What he's doing, he's getting in sucker punch range. Take a step back, Pat, like, like you're talking to him. Now, now, if I want a sucker punch him, what is my gonna do? What do I have to do? I have to do this. Move, right there, when you see that, you know that there's a sucker punch or something prepared to happen or else he would step back and you create enough distance. So these are just quick tips, guys. But if you want to learn more self-defense, go visit our website, coderaddefense.com. We have a great collection. We have a common attacks video. It's an hour and a half. We break them all down. Go check them out. We'll put the link in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stand strong.